back to another vlogmas episode just logged off work today is my friday because i don't work on fridays and we're heading to my storage unit i made some sales and i have to pull them from my storage unit so i'm gonna give you a tour of my storage unit and i think go over why i don't recommend storage units for your reselling business especially if you're part-time <laughs> um it's a lot of money so i'm waiting for starbucks i'm just in the drive-through so um but yeah my company sent out a starbucks card for lunch but i didn't want to go out for lunch so i'm going to see if there's still funds on the card so i can get my free coffee from work so yeah let's head over to my storage unit I think so here I have all of my reselling boxes these are the legal size boxes and some of this is also my personal stuff I have some mannequins here and I just have a bunch of inventory some of this is my boyfriend's stuff he has some like storage in here as well some of my hard goods, I still have hard goods left over from my antique booth, some are here at the bottom. And then I, the thing with me is that I also have my inventory from my vintage vending. So I also sell vintage like at pop-ups and I used to have it in my antique booth, but since I closed my antique booth, like some of it is hanging on this rack and I have some special bins that are just like strictly vintage clothing. This is a side for my like Poshmark items. So I think next year I'm definitely going to be focusing more on, I'm going to be focusing mostly on my vintage. I think my listing and sourcing strategy is 100% going to change in 2023. I'm like, wait, 2023? Yes, 2023. So I need to pull these shoes that I sold and I'm just realizing I did not add the SKU into my the additional info section on my Poshmark listing. I usually do that religiously and I did not do that. So now I have to look through every single box. Well, I think it's going to be in one of these at the end, like after G. But now I have to pull all the boxes and look through them. So note to self make sure you're adding a SKU or you actually remember where you stored your items on Poshmark. So let me go ahead and pull the items and then I'll go over them. They're very low polish sales. Honestly, I'm just accepting offers and moving items because I'm going to have to move all of this. I don't, hopefully if hopefully if our offer gets accepted this time, hopefully by the end of this month, we'll, oh shoot, sorry. Hopefully by the end of this month we'll close and like I am hauling all my stuff out of here so I don't have to pay another month's worth of rent. Okay, luckily that didn't take long. I found them pretty fast. I knew they were gonna be in one of these last boxes. So first off are these Jimmy Choo's. I accepted an offer for $15 for these. I paid $5 for them at the swap meet. To be fair, they are a little beat up, um, very worn. I didn't bother to clean them up. And they're a very small size. I think they're like a size five. So I didn't get a lot of offers. I'm thinking obviously if they were a more larger size, average size, they would have sold for more, but I'm making I'm essentially just doubling my money on these and then these are some platform stripper heel <laughs> but these are brand new I got these at the swap meet for two dollars I accepted an offer of nine dollars for these uh, again 
I I keep seeing Alicia from Married Life. She always posts that she does really well with these, but I can't move them at all. So maybe it's because she lists hers on eBay. So I'll try that. I still have like three pairs left. But yeah, I purchased these for $2 at the swap meet and I accept somebody's offer for nine. And it was a low baller that just kept coming back. And honestly, I haven't had any offers. So I was like, whatever, I'll take your $9 offer this time. And I think this was the third time he offered me. And he, to be fair, he came up from his last offer. So I was like, whatever, homie, take them. So I've had these since summer of 2021. So I was happy to move these. Okay, so I think I'm just going to head out because I actually have to go to the post office to pick up one of my swap boxes. And then I'll finish this video and go over why I don't recommend having a storage unit back at home. back so i'm going to actually i came back home and i'm going to pack these orders and then go to the post office but as i pack let's chat about why i don't recommend a storage unit honestly it just comes to monetary reasons like why are you going to pay for a storage unit okay first of all if you have a storage unit and it works for you great congratulations i'm so happy for you i love that for you obviously there's a personal reason why i'm not for it anymore it did help me for some time you know um, i'm gonna link my video from last year depending on how long you've been following me i used to have an office like i was actually looking at the videos and this is a reason why i like doing youtube as well because like it is like such a cool opportunity where you can go back and watch a video of yourself and you can see like man i was doing great or hey i wasn't doing so great but i'm doing better now you know so summer of 2021 summer of 2021 i had my little office it was 350 a month i was there for I was there for the summer and it was a very successful summer for me like looking back on those numbers i was like dang I was getting sales, I was cross-listing, I was getting sales on multiple platforms, I was cross-listing, you know, things were going good, but around that time was when my boyfriend and I started discussing actually looking into buying a home together, so obviously it didn't make sense to spend money on an office when we were hunkering down, starting to save towards, you know, a home. So at that time, yes, it made sense to move into a storage unit. My storage unit when I moved in was $108 and it was a 10 by 15 space. I did opt to get the insurance. So that was an additional like $15. So I paid, one tw I paid $122 a month for my storage unit. My rent has gone up since. It went up, I wanna say in May, it went up $50 due to inflation. So now I'm paying 170, I actually have it here, $171 a month. So that's 157 for my rent and $14.20 for my insurance. So even though it's still significant, significantly cheaper than my old office, like it's still an expense, right? So, I mean, if you've been watching me, you know that I'm living with my parents, so I don't really have, like, I can't work out of the garage here. I can't work out of my bedroom here anymore. And my boyfriend and I are trying to buy a home. Hopefully, hopefully, like, it's been like over a year of us. We explored the possibility of moving to Texas. I'm sure you picked up on that as you've been watching my channels. I was going to Texas a lot, but we decided to actually stay in California and we're trying to get a home here and it's just been rough, you know, like qualifying. And it's just been a headache, like the bureaucracy of, you know, 
getting a mortgage is insane so so but hopefully 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 we close on our loan by the end of the month and starting 2023 we'll have our own place so if that happens like our goal is to move out of that storage unit as soon as possible. But obviously besides the monetary reasons, I actually love my facility. Like it's so clean, but I mean, the only downside is like, as you saw, it gets really dark in there. There is no source of electricity. Most storage units, at least here in California, they don't allow for electricity or any sort of power outlet, even battery operated. And the managers are constantly walking around to, to monitor because at least here in California, some people would actually try to live in storage units. So they're actually pretty vigilant. And that's one of the reasons why Power isn't allowed so I don't know like I see other resellers that have like computer setups in their storage units like that would just not fly here in California like most cities monitor their storage units to where you know it's strictly used for storage you can't set up an office in there my recommendation if you are interested if you are looking into a storage unit like only do it if you really need it like I would definitely recommend you explore working out of your home, um, getting a storage shed. Like I would totally get a storage shed. Like for me, storage units are the last resort, but to each their own. So yeah, I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I know it was a little, it was a little choppy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to the post office now to ship my two orders and I'll see you tomorrow for more Vlogmas. Take care. Bye.